Hearthstone is a free-to-play online collectible card game by Blizzard released back in March 2014. Hearthstone is easy to learn for beginners while allowing a highly complex, dynamic and strategically competitive gameplay at the tournament level. Our project team, the Sunday Lunatics, will share with you how we can help the users automate the deck construction and better optimize the chances of winning. One of the key features in collectible card games is that there's a huge and irregular search space uh, that provides a very random and highly dynamic uh, gameplay. So with 9 different hero classes and over 2000 cards to build a deck of 30 cards upon, how can we then better optimize the chances of winning? Before we move on further, let us share with you some of the deck construction rules. It's a 1v1 game, so each player has to choose a hero before they start, as you can see on the top and bottom of the screen. Their deck will comprise of 30 cards exactly. It can consist of non-legendary and legendary cards type. And uh, for non-legendary, it's up to 2 cards of each type playable, and for legendary, only 1 card of each type is playable. And each deck could only consist of neutral cards and cards that are hero specific. A hybrid reasoning system was developed to perform the automated deck construction uh, using cooperating experts architecture as different techniques are employed and no single technique is sufficient. For example, the deductive reasoning for deck construction rules, inductive reasoning used in data mining and machine reasoning such as the association rule, and planning and optimization uh, such as the genetic algorithms. Let us illustrate how the genetic algorithm works in this context. Okay. We have first we have two parents and by choosing a two point crossover, some cards will be crossover and then we we'll end up with two children. After crossing over we will have end up with two children and each card has a probability of mutation. And as you can see, one card has mutated to a new card. Over here we have the system architecture. In the back end we have a Python with packages such as Psyche Learn for the SVR and Apiori for association learning. And we have databases uh, containing uh, historical deck win rates and their uh, associated uh, cards details. And for the application itself, uh, we are using Flask for the front end GUI and this will be connected to the internet for the user to use. Okay, so now we are at the deck sorcery platform and as you can see at the home page, we are able to cycle through the different uh, cards type, namely the 9 different heroes and the neutral cards. Okay, so if we were to enter any of them, say the priest for example, we are able to see all the hero specific cards under the priest category. Now, let me show you the library. In the library, there are uh, cards that are predefined by the users. In this case, there are four uh, predefined cards that will be used in automated deck construction. Now, let's move on to services. Services it actually allows you to select the hero class type for you to do the deck construction upon. In this case, we will use a priest for, as an example. And the base on library feature is basically allowing you to choose the cards that has been predefined uh, as a fixed variable for you to construct your deck upon. Now click start. Okay, now that we have uh, started the automated deck construction, as you can see now the genetic algorithm is running in the background. The genetic algorithm has finished its run after 2000 generations and over here we are able to see the deck win rate and the time taken for the generation to take place. So as we go back to the page okay, and over at the result page we are able to see the 30 cards generated for the priest deck. And that's the end of the demo. For future works, we are looking at uh, 
enhancing the platform further via text mining on features such as uh, card ability and also uh, using Monte Carlo search to fully replicate the gameplay mechanics. This will then help us uh, better enhance the optimization and prediction of the deck win rate. We come to the end of our presentation. Thank you.